Hi guys, I'm Dr. Hans and this is Dr. Hans Brewery, my channel about beer and home brewing. Today I'm going to talk about hops and growing them in water, hydroponics. I'm going to talk a little bit more about hydroponics in general and uh, of course we're going to plant this hop plant hydroponically. And yeah, also we need a beer. I'm going to do some DIY today. This is a beer that was kindly sent to me from Richard Williams, aka Dudes Brews. It's a quite interesting beer. We can talk more about the beer in the end. I also have the recipe for the beer, so we can go through the recipe as well. But interesting brew was the fastest all grain brew I've ever heard of. Also gonna link to Richard's video, so go and check him out as well. And yeah, the recipe for this is already up on my Patreon page in the Dr. Hans recipe book in the beer mail section. So go and check that out also if you're interested in that. Nice hits there. This beer has some age on it and this time it's not my fault really. I really just got it. But I think Richard might have brewed it in September last year and now it's the beginning of uh, May and yeah this is the first time I'm recording outside in the outdoor sofa and uh, pretending that it's hot of course it's it ain't it's Sweden but yeah it's doable so many videos hopefully to come this summer from this place It ain't much of a labor really to show you. Hazy, uh, good looking yellow to slight orange beer. One finger, one and a half finger, fluffy white head with the uh, peaks and valleys. Um, good level of carbonation, quite big bubbles collecting against the glass and we it's very hazy, but very good looking hazy beer. Let's give it a nose. That's a very fruity beer. Smells nice. There's some bread notes on it. Okay, cheers. Thanks, Richard. So there's not a lot of hops some malt and some like fruity esters there from the yeast but it has some time on it ain't nothing really wrong with it but i think it's a little bit old maybe still a nice refreshing beer this comes in at 3.8 percent so i bet this was really good when it was younger I want to talk more about the beer in the end of the video because I really want to get on with the subject. Hydroponics. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is when you are growing something without any dirt. Uh, growing stuff in water. There's different types of hydroponics but it's all comes down to the same thing. Uh, plants really don't need the dirt. It needs air and it needs water and it needs nutrition. If you can supplement that to the plant, it will grow. And uh, it will grow much faster hydroponically than uh, in regular methods. So it's a really good method to try out. I've started growing stuff hydroponically like last spring. And uh, yeah, I'm ramping that up this year. Uh, but I, I will only do, can't swear it, but the plan is now at least, I will only do one hop hydroponically. I can show you in the end also some of my other plants who are growing uh, hydroponically. But for my other hops, they will all grow in the dirt. And I have a playlist on this summer's 
hop growing in my garden 2019 but I thought I want to do a separate playlist maybe on the hydroponic hops there's also the playlist from last year where I grown hops all around my garden or forest and uh, yeah I brewed a lot of beers with it and so, so if you're interested in growing hops and brewing with fresh hops go and check out that series as well but today it's about hydroponics and as i said hydroponics is growing something without soil growing it in water and we have some varieties of hydroponics we have um, some very simple ones that we're going to do today and there's a lot of more complex ones we have crack the method that we're going to try today so it's a very simple method it requires like no extra stuff at all so i'm going to show you that in this part but then we have variety is an old method but we also have aquaponics which is uh, quite interesting where you let fish provide the nutrients so you have a uh, like an ecosystem there and that you can use in a variety with all of like the other methods as well you have aeroponics where you use a mist instead you have a very uh, like foggy air uh, with nutrient water like sprayed on the roots from like the mist and you have a uh, ebb and flood where you uh, yeah you flood the roots and let it drain off quite spread commercial system is when you're using like a drip system and your roots are in some kind of medium and you're just letting nutritious water like drip on top of the roots so what you're hearing in all of these different methods you are giving the plants air and you're giving the plants water and nutrition so that's about it so you can't like drain a plant in in water if you want to do that deep water hydroponics you can use air pumps with air stones something like that you can play with the different systems and methods but really nice easy system we can do at home without like anything you can start today is the Kratky method and the Kratky method is where you place like a net cup and it doesn't have to be like this store-bought one you can make your own i can show you an easy way to do that do that and uh, just use any like container and drill a hole in it if it's this type of container you can use like a soda bottle as well cut this part off turn it upside down and yeah use that this type of container comes in very many different varieties and sizes and uh, put the plant in the uh, the net cup with some sort of medium you don't need a medium really uh, either with, with the medium you can use like leka balls uh, clay balls i'm going to show you them and i realize now that i didn't carry any here so yeah i tried to do this very great misan plus but of course always fail you can use perlite you can use uh, verniculite you can use like pimp stone you could use like this coconut shells yeah well, it doesn't really matter and uh, you don't need any medium at all you can just uh, cut out a piece of foam you know that kind of um, loss for words here English ain't my native tongue that kind of foam you uh, sleep on when you are camping something like that to just hold the plant hi guys I used to have a very long list down in the description box for my videos because people were asking uh, for the stuff I use for filming of course but for brewing beers and serving beers and so on so I mowed all of that over to my influencer store over at Amazon so uh, yeah 
do check it out if you want to. If I like a product and uh, think it would be useful for anyone else, I will put it there. Otherwise, I won't. So go and check that out if you want. Cheers back to the doctor. In the Kratkin method, we're never having the container full up to the top because we're letting air roots form on top of the water and let like water roots who gonna yeah, drink the water and the nutrition dive down into the water so that's the that's the thing cheers and if you're starting from seed you can start in without any soil at all this is a bought plant so um, this comes from Swedish shop and this is a Swedish variety. I'm trying to grow hop varieties here that uh, I just had a bird poop on my table. I'm gonna sort that out and find some leka balls as well. Sorry guys. Leka balls and some paper for the bird poop. Now another shit video from the doctor. Sorry guys. Okay. Bird poop handled. Cheers. So if you're starting from seed, you can use some other methods than, of course, soil. But this time it was a board plant. But for my other plants, which I started from seed, I didn't, of course, use any soil. So I got a bit erupted there by the bird pooping on the table. But this variety is called Hulla Norgård. A Swedish variety. It's quite a lot of work with the hops, so I, I try to uh, grow some like culture, heritage Swedish hops, which can't really be bought anywhere. So that's kind of cool to brew with them. And I realize now that I didn't um, read so much up about the hops in this hop before the video, but there's more videos to come, guys, because we're gonna follow this hydroponic hops and of course all other hops all summer to the harvest to the brewing and all so what we need to do first is to rinse up the uh, the dirt we really don't want any dirt in it if it's some left it, it ain't really a problem but uh, we don't really want any organic materia in our uh, container besides of course the plant because we don't want anything like to compete with the uh, plant for, of the nutrients, of course. So, uh, I'm going to try to sink this in water. Okay. This usually works just fine. So we're releasing the roots. I've just put out some new t-shirts in the Dr. Hans Brewery merch store. So the link to that is printmotor.com slash Dr. Hans Brewery. I'll put a yeah, link to it. You will also find links in the description for the merch store, the Amazon Influencer store, and of course to my Patreon page. So cheers guys, check that out. And yeah, some roots will of course get hurt we damage some roots but you should find the best method I've found so far is just shaking it don't try to like splash it under water in the sink because this works so much better and of course when you're done you could always go and wash the last bits in under running water something like that but it's way better this way just to change out the water some dirt left and as I said you will be fine if there's some dirt left but try to get it off but I wouldn't like to hurt more roots than you need to. 
This is how a hop looks like. Cool. See? Some roots coming off when I'm applying some force to it. But it's like pruning. It will grow out new ones and uh, so you will be fine. Got rid of most of the, the dirt. We could have used a bigger net cup than this really, but we will be fine. Cut a hole in the net cup so we can sink the hops through. And of course this depends on whatever you're planting, how you want to do it. But I want to get some roots down to the uh, through the net cup. I'll try to do this without hurting them. And I've never done this before with uh, with hops, so this is the first one for me. Here's where the leka balls, the clay balls, come into place. They're just here to like provide some support for the plant, really. Let's place the plant in here. And uh, you call them, do you call them like clay pedals, something like that, maybe? In Swedish, they are called lekakulor. So I'm just filling up the, the net cup here. Why are I planting the hop in such a small container? I'm coming to that in a bit. Let me just show you this first. Okay, so there we have the container. So I'm just gonna start it in this container because I have a, like, like a grow tent inside and uh, I'm gonna start it there because I have some room for it. Then I will transfer it to uh, another vessel. Which I'm going to show you in just a bit. This is uh, water with some uh, nutrients in it. For hydroponics you really want your water between 5.5 and 6.5 pH and you want to use some sort of liquid fertilizer, nutrition sort. I have two here. Uh, this is simple ones you can really like nerd in on the nutrition side of hydroponics this is from ikea called vexer and uh, vexer by the means means gross in swedish and this is another from nelson garden hydroponic solution and uh, if if you want more like check online at different hydroponics stores they have a lot of different ones and there's a lot of yeah, like I said, you can really nerd in on the subject. If you can't find any like hydroponic um, nutrition solutions, you could just use regular ones. Use like half the strength. You want to look for a variety that has micronutrients in it. You have no soil here, so all of the nutrition is going to come from whatever you put in there. And of course from the sun, but so you should at least look for a reg regular one with the uh, micro uh, nutritions in it. Check your pH and of course maybe the pH kind of varies between the different plants but that's what I've been doing with all my hydroponics. Try to get in the range between 5 and 6.5 and don't forget that you should really measure your pH after you added the nutrition. And uh, don't ever go like full strength with a regular one. Use half what the packet says if you're using a normal one that's meant for soil growing. So with, with this one I used like four milliliters for two liters of water. So we don't need much. And the container of choice shouldn't let sunlight in. 
because they're going to start growing algae in there. Okay, I think I will leave it like there. Hopefully we will be fine. Uh, we will. We want some roots. Maybe we have too much in it, really. So let's take some out. And I will. The first few days, I will like keep it moist. Drip some nutrition solution over it to like train the roots to go down into the water. And still, we want some air so the the hops can uh, grow air roots as well so this will go into my grow tent for a bit i won't like trim this now i want like four vines to start training and this is my first time with this and these don't look like bull vines to me so i won't trim it i will place this in the uh, the grow tent, which I'm going to show you, but I'm going to show you the container that we will be using for this plant outside and talk a little about containers. Cheers! Hi guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in beer and how to become a better brewer, consider becoming a subscriber. And yeah, do hit that little bell so you get notifications when I post out a new video. Back to the doctor. So I found this good one. This is a 50 liter container with a dome lid on it. So this will be perfect. And as I said, I'm gonna just start it here. Maybe in a week or something, I will take it out and place it in this one. So we're just going to use a whole sow. At least that's the Swedish word for it. Translated. I'm going to do it so we can see it. So I don't get a lot of shavings into the beer that was kindly given to me by Richard. So a nice dome lid here. I'm going to tell you the importance of that in a minute. But there's always like workarounds. don't have to be center of course when I do it it has to be uh, so want to do is like this go forward with the center drill until that's through and then you want to go backwards when you're doing plastic this is very very firm but sometimes these containers like this one it ain't that sturdy I hope this can last very many years Okay, we're through. Get the, the shavings out. Should we try it to see how it looks? Yes, we should. So that's the... Uh, container which this hop is going to grow in this summer but we're going to start it in this small one just because I can't fit the <laughs> big one into my small growing tent but that's the way you do it really I'm going to show you another size container also So you can just use whatever you find, really. And uh, I have four of these already made up, which I'm gonna grow in greenhouse. So they will be fine for that. But the reason why I chose this one with the dome lid is because when it rains, we will start to fill up this. Rain will collect here and go down into the holes. 
and fill up this with water and I don't want that of course I could just drill a hole so we will never go over that part but that would start to dilute the liquid and then I would use like a need to use like a ppm meter always monitoring the levels of the nutrition in here and I'm planning to use these outside as well gonna place it like here and secure it with some uh, screws and wing nuts and uh, let the water drain off so when I've planted the the hop plant we might even try to uh, get some duct tape something over here as well to protect even the the hole from from water slipping into the the hole there when raining but using this container outside like this it's not recommended by the doctor but this will work very very fine so hopefully i got your mind started on that and uh, you realize that you could use like any containers uh, you could use a fermenting bucket carboy should be awesome uh, just wrap it into like a black garbage bag something like that or spray paint it so we don't let air in it so air in it sorry so you don't let, let the sunlight in uh, of course sunlight a lot of algae will start to grow but um, competing with a plant for the uh, nutrition uh, so i don't think really it will kill the plant but it's not recommended of course this is a first year hop gonna measure how first should i really i should have bought two but i didn't and uh, two plants really don't grow the same side by side in soil either so i don't know plants really dig living in water i think the big challenge here will to figure out a good way to store the hot plant for next year should be like put it in the freezer or so that will be an upcoming uh, of course solution we have to figure that out so let's start thinking about that together so i promise you that we should go through the uh, the recipe for this beer also we're gonna have a look at some other uh, stuff i have growing hydroponically the the hop plants i showed you in my last video how long they have come and we trim them up and also in the middle of editing the uh, hop shoots eating cooking video so that's gonna come up before this i hope and if it does i will put a card up and try to remember to put like links down below to everything you also have my amazon storefront page there you can go check out the stuff i used for beer and brewing and filming also trying out some new lights just bought and if i like them i will put a link to them as well if i find them on amazon so because uh, uh, if i like a thing and think it's well worth spending money on i would put links to it otherwise i wouldn't should we try to put some more of this stuff in maybe the yeast as well so we could get it really like murky still good looking beer let me go and get the recipe i think they were more like hop debris than um, than yeast so might be that this is a bottle from the keg because i really think that enhanced the, uh, the flavors a bit maybe got even a little bit grainy from that don't pick uh, my pink coat light speed pale ale and as i said this recipe is already up in the dr hans recipe book at my patreon page we have well over 100 recipes now it's mostly my own but beer maze recipes filling it up also so very much cool recipes to check out from my videos and from not released beers on youtube so 
if you want and interesting in that go check out my patreon page where i yeah put all my recipes and also try to do more frequent updates unedited so i can put out some stuff more frequently yeah and speaking of patrons roll the patron list So, the Lightspeed Pale Ale from Richard Williams. And please go and check him out. Really nice channel. He uh, also tried to do some experimental brewing now, like this one. He tried to uh, do a uh, all grain beer in an hour. And it took him like one hour and 21 minutes, if I remember correctly from the video. So he did a 15 minute mash, a 15 minute boil. He did a brew in a bag beer uh, with full volume, so no sparching. And um, yes, really tried to speed things up. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice beer, Richard. So great work. And uh, I assume this was much better fresh but there's nothing really wrong with it it just it has a little bit time on it if i had bought that yeah i wouldn't be complaining so this is a stove top beer uh, he uh, it's like a half batch 20 liter batch he used 2.3 kilos of pale ale malt, 100%, so nothing more than that. 26 grams of uh, Galaxy at 5 minutes and 20 grams of Cascade also at 5 minutes. And this was with the uh, Bry 97 American West Coast Ale from Laleman Danstar. He of course had a dip in efficiency from that short mash, but um, he got 60% efficiency after 50 minutes so yeah it's a quite good method really original gravity 1038 and final gravity 10009 which gave him 3.8% and uh, the estimated would 1043 to 1007 so it, if he had done for the full mash it might have turned out like a 4.8 percent beer according to beer smith but of course that we would never know how much it would ferment out but that's the calculations okay so that was the recipe let's go and have a look at my other hydroponically growing plants yeah i'm bringing the beer of course okay here's some uh, hydroponics salad and here we have habanero pepper and jalapeno pepper. Here we have jalapeno pepper also and some Spanish pepper behind that. And up here we have green squash. This is a variety of cucumber and we have watermelon. This is uh, like an IKEA system. Some plants here also. Simple hydroponics check the roots night and night nice and white let's go outside and look at the big hydroponic vessels so in this little greenhouse I have some big toes here and as these are inside the the greenhouse they have the the lid in the right way so here we have some spanish pepper we have two varieties of tomatoes back here and the, the tomatoes are moving into another house shortly and these are bell peppers sweet bell peppers so they're flowering already we're getting some fruit there so these are massive and uh, they have been outside here for a month actually already 
and these big toes let's see if I can get into that are filled with water this will last hopefully a very, very long time and it hasn't been that warm here in Sweden so uh, they really stood like still out here but they're flowering now and fruiting so nice today we actually had 20 C so it's looking good but uh, yeah the tomatoes I need to maybe cut them down or move them out of here very soon and uh, this has been working this has been in the uh, house for a month and we had really cold nights here in Sweden but the amount of liquid together in these four containers are huge a lot of liquids so that holds a lot of heat so this greenhouse has been working out fine holding the heat overnight so the plants here has survived here's some as well so this is just a pot you see the same cracky method cool roots same nice this is another variety of pepper and this is uh, padrones pepper also padrones and this is basil so in a, another method, this is with a, like a homemade net cup. And yeah, my, my camera battery dried, so I'm doing like the last part of this video on the, uh, the phone. Sorry guys. So this has really gotten out of hand. This is another pepper. I really need to sort that out. So you see, we have some place here in the grow tent. Uh, this is a yellow squash you see the same method here small net cups with just some clay petals here you have the roots here's the cucumber really healthy the roots and uh, also have uh, another pepper this pepper is called Satan's Kiss and uh, yeah, you can see it's a container here with the net cup and I painted it black, same as that one. Of course, that doesn't have paint on it. And this one is a California Reaper. So uh, yeah, have some place here for the uh, hop to grow for at least a week, maybe, maybe longer where it gets spoiled and then of course maybe I need to train it before I get it outside. So this is uh, my homemade grow tent. Ain't big but it, it's working. If you can't find a net cup, of course it comes in different sizes. You can always make your own one of these. This is uh, one I've been using. I just used the uh, scissor on it really so see everyone can grow hydroponically and this is not just for hops as you saw do try it I think you will like it and uh, the idea really is that this container could last me for the whole summer so I fill this one up and maybe I don't even need to water it so if I go on a holiday or something, this would take care of itself. Because this is 50 liters of water and uh, will not evaporate really. It's a really small opening which gets shut down by the, the plant. But I'm thinking that maybe we should even do some gaffer tape around the plant so we get as little as possible of water in it if you are using a container like this one outside and uh, this method doesn't work for that container what you could do is put some plastic on it really 
so you don't get the water in. So if you're interested in growing hops or growing hydroponically and beer and home brewing, consider becoming a subscriber and do hit that little bell so you get notifications when I post out a new video. And um, there's my Amazon storefront to check out and of course my Patreon page. Cheers guys and thanks for watching. Dr. Hans out.